Ah, there is no other way. Okay, who are we playing? Baraka Swarm. So... Purify. I'm gonna say it's not useful, and you're gonna- I'm gonna get rid of it, and you're gonna say, yeah, it's very useful. Squirrel? Um... Insectoids? Yeah, don't know. Squirrel is useful, probably. Um, okay. Everything's always useful, right? <laughs> I just don't see it. And then I regret not having it later on. Right, the Bruess. Uh, Azil order to consume an allied unit. Both useful. They're always useful. Yeah, I just... Anyway, probably should have kept them then. Whenever you play a crone, increase the number of charges by one. So they're doing lots of consumey things. Maybe... Do we have a Sorceress? No. But we could AA for a Sorceress, couldn't we? Pillar against their Veil and Scroll against... was Sabbath. All as one. That's annoying that I wasn't ahead. Oh, the Witch's Sabbath. Does Squirrel against that really work, though? I suppose if they're going to be bringing it back from the graveyard, but... <laughs> well... This hasn't really worked so far. I mean, I could... I could just lock this thing. There's probably more annoying things to lock. Let me just Squire. Uh, you can remove some high power unit which you don't want to come back yeah I didn't know that they would be bringing stuff back though that's the thing damage an enemy unit by six whenever you play a crew and increase this damage by two okay I mean I'm thinking play this and then pass I know, like, knights are supposed to use long rounds, but if they're going to do annoying things like this... Yeah, pass in seven. I mean, they've already played two middle cards, and I've played one middle and one low. It's that, or I try and... No, it's got six health, that's the thing. It's fine, let's go with this. It's not really helping my Erendite, either. And last. Well, I think that kind of sets it in stone. They played another decent card. Uh, and it's best on blue coin, i.e. going first. I can never remember which colour's which, but from the context I'm guessing you mean that way around. Yeah. Okay. So we have the squirrel back. We can keep it. I mean, if Arendite's going to be useless, I could get rid of it. Get rid of Mad Charge. We can always put it out with that, can't we? I mean, Boiling Oil, maybe. We just don't have a lot of actually doing stuff. Um, yeah, Minus Oil. Griffin. Fine. We could a Nyromancy for the scenario. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, let's get on with... Where's it gone? There it is. Need the tempo. I'm going to go straight in with the... I mean, you said Rodanian Knight doesn't have... But neither will that, so let's just go with this. Long live, et cetera, et cetera. Squirrel. And they've got rid of an Aromancy. Yep. Are they... So you, you think they have a way of getting cards back from the, the graveyard? Because if so, I could play the squirrel, but maybe we need the tempo right now. Um, Because we're definitely behind on that. Oftentimes relics, yes. Okay. And which of these things would we want to get rid of? Not that we're going to do it this very second, but... Confuse them. Nothing scary for now. Okay. I'm just thinking of Knight Errant, but I don't know where to play it. Like next to it? Oh no, we'll just do this down here. And the next turn, we'll get a mad charge. That's annoying. So I need six points. These are going to go up by two, so I need four. So I just play the squirrel. Oh no, six would mean I'm tied. Jan into my charge. But he is... Oh no, if I just play this... I didn't get my free my charge, that's... I could do AA into something else. Like... I don't know. Um... If I do this, I get a free mad charge. I know. I mean, that's a lot more points, but I'd already committed the two things which made it really good anyway, hadn't I? Maybe the Knight Errant is much better than Jan anyway. Maybe that's what I should have, as you were saying, just use that. Um, this is now... I don't know if it's still useful, because they're not going to be putting anything back now. Erendite is not useful. Minus mad charge, yeah. Sorceress. We don't have immortals, but we can pull it out. Maybe that's what we do this time. Um, two damage. Useful for Gryphon. Um, maybe I should have should have kept it because it might have been up to like eight damage by the time we got to use it. But this will give me five, seven. Well, yeah, maybe seven. Anyway, let's try immortals. That doesn't help you bring out immortals. Do I already have it in my hand? Well... Fine. Immortals died. What was the first thing I did? I was like, why didn't I see it? That's fine, we'll just bring out this guy then. Never surrender. Um, of course, Immortals died. What else did I have? I heard Predatory Dive in the background there. Oh look, it was Predatory Dive. But whatever I would have played, it would have been decent. Fine, Squire. Long sword, back sword. Arming sword, bastard sword. And it's gone. Yeah. Oh yeah, I should end turn. I mean, yeah, the Arendite. I don't have an Iron Man scene. But it's still... Banished a card from your opponent's graveyard. Banished card from your graveyard. All right, but that's fine, because I don't have a way to bring things back anyway. Um, we can 
click this and put it on the maiden's shield. Oh no, put it on this thing. And next turn we'll click this and maybe this thing. This is a character from Thronebreaker. You love Thronebreaker? I did start it. I, sh I could start again. Oh, it, was, it was a while ago that I played it. You get free cards and grunt. Yeah, I mean, I've got some of them. Because I got to, like, the second act or second chapter or whatever. Xavier Lemons. They ring a bell. After three allied units are destroyed, awaken Frightener. Shall I just heatwave this? Is it bad enough to heatwave, or have they got something worse coming? For now, I'm just gonna go with this plan. And... Maybe do this. It's 12 points, maybe. Boost an allied unit by 6. Okay. Well, he's not going to want to consume it now. Whenever you play a chrome, boost this by 2. Okay. Um. I will m mad charge this thing. No, this thing. That will then boost that, and then I'll play that onto this. The boost of that onto this thing. And then I could boost that with this, but I feel like that is my last grace thing. Go on then. How many points is my errand up to? Seven. So I shouldn't have maybe got it back. You can sorceress to left squire. Yeah. Whoa. Consume three allied units. Kran. I wasn't expecting them to do it all in one go. See, if I had Purify, I could get rid of Immunity, and then I'd be able to get rid of it, right? But I don't. Um, although, I could, if they put something small here, Boiling Oil, 5 damage. No, I couldn't, because it has Immunity. Right, okay. It's fine. But Boiling Oil, potentially useful. Let's go with your plan. Of, um, putting this here. I don't know if that's really useful, but we'll do that. But it only works if they put something here. At the moment, I've got three things requiring a target, and none of them with a target. Yeah, any melee unit. Well, at some point I need to play... Squirrel, so it can sit here. What would be good to banish? Consuming unit. Boost an unit by eight. The Griffin. I'm just worried if they get the deployability as well, but. Reset. Oh, come on. Okay, so now we use John. Boiling oil. And do that. Monsters don't get deployed from graveyard? Okay.
Right. I mean, they've taken my best two cards away, effectively. This I can't regrace, but I could boost it again. Anyway. I mean, it's going to be a close one. Play any card. And they have played Igni. No. Destroy the highest power unit on an enemy row with a total 25 or 40. Well, it must have been the 25. Um, I mean, we can't really lock anything else. I hope you can trust me. Right, who wants a boost? Whenever it loses shield, but it doesn't have shield. Right, 13 points. Do they have it? No. Set an enemy's unit power to one. Another victory. I would definitely take it. They forfeited, but they just lost. You can't forfeit after losing. We get a reward point for our daily quest. Which we're still missing another one. Finished 10 matches. Wow. Well, I should be able to do that. We will go. Uh, this game would be would have been easier if you didn't mulligan Erendite. I'm I don't know about that, because there weren't that many targets, right? Yeah, it, it had like 12 damage by the end. Um, but most of their things were immune. I mean, maybe early on in that round I could have killed something. But I probably would have thought, well, that's not really worth removing. But yeah, I mean, maybe I'm lucky that things went my way for other things. Geralt and Inceptoids. Is I mean we killed everything we could. Everything else was a had immunity. You never lose on points with Arendite. As in it's always providing more value than a mad charge. Because we kind of pulled out a mad charge and the boiling oil because we didn't have Arendite. Like we had John Natalis for the boiling oil. If anything, that move, I think, was the genius play of the round. The boiling oil to heat wave their thing. But yeah, it's... You're right. There's always a good use for Arendite. It just didn't look like it at the beginning of round three. But I'm still new to the card, so I'll try and keep it next time. Right. Maybe not two sorceresses. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.